Here on the East Coast, we have had a crazy warm winter, warmer than I ever remembered. And I've lived on the East Coast for a while. Now. Yesterday, it got up to 80 degrees. And I know it's because we're in a La Nina year, but still, it's just all over the place. 80 degrees in March? It was so nice, we actually sat outside. And I guess that would be fine if it picked a season, but it doesn't stay 80 degrees. It keeps changing. I think we're on the verge of a major climate shift. I think so too, because today it's snowing. Normally on a day like this, I would be in a bookstore or in my bed reading books. There would be a lot of books around. I would be doing warm, cozy things, which I had planned on doing this whole winter and never got the opportunity to. Our first snowfall, first real snowfall, was today. And it started while I was at the coffee shop. By the way, that coffee was so good. The snow wasn't a surprise. I watched the forecast like a hawk. It's just one of the things that I like to do. I like to know what's coming. So I knew that the snow was coming, but we didn't really know how much. Anyway, I've been spending the morning working on this scarf that I made for my husband's client. It's her birthday and she asked for something handmade. And guess what? Around here, we do handmade. We hand make a lot of things. We crochet, we now knit, now that we know how. We paint, we design, we do a lot of different things. And so I was happy to oblige her because not only did I get to make her this lovely scarf, but now I have a new skill. One that I think I enjoy even more than crocheting. I got the pattern from this Loopy Mango knitting book, which is just so cute and so filled with chunky, just warm looking knits. I'm going to hate to see winter go because I want to make all of this stuff, but I picked this particular pattern and modified it. This pattern actually calls for three balls of the loopy mango yarn, the merino wool number five. I know I'm getting really technical here, but it calls for three. I ended up using one and a half because instead of casting on 20 stitches, I only cast on 10, which made the scarf not quite as wide. This is what I ended up with. And I think it turned out really, really, really nicely. I did a practice one and it didn't take very long. And then this one I did and I took my time. I still have some things to learn. I'm definitely not a master knitter by any means, but this was fun. And I will be dropping this off at the birthday party a little bit later. But first, get ready with me. I don't usually do this, but I thought I'd go ahead and do a small get ready with me here on this channel. So I'm using the Pharmacy Green Clean Melt Away Cleansing Balm. And I'm also using my Youth to the People Super Greens Oil and Super Greens Cleanser. I don't know if that's right. I'll pop it up on the screen. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking off some makeup that I had on earlier when I went out to go get coffee. I want to start with a clean slate. So I'm doing my normal double cleanse. This is actually something that I typically do at night. But I'm doing it today for you guys. Well, and for me too. I finally got my Elemis Pro Collagen Hydrogel Eye Masks in these names. And I've heard that these are the best eye masks. It's so funny because I just suffer really from a little bit of puffiness towards my inner eye. And that is something that I'm trying to work on when it comes to my skin. I'm actually very pleased with my skin and how it has been for for a couple years now. It's really gotten to be pretty good skin and so I'm not complaining at all. But sometimes I get darkness under the eyes and like I said, a little puffiness towards the inner corner. So I'm just trying these because I've heard really good things about them. You're supposed to leave them on for like 20 minutes. So I'm going to put them on and do some other things and then get in the shower and then take them off. And of course, <laughs> I always have to have a little bit of a blooper. For whatever reason, I didn't stick the patch to my eye. I stuck the outside, like the 
the part that you're supposed to take off, I stuck that to my eye. It kind of stuck there too, <laughs> which is really crazy. But, you know, eventually I figured it out. That was just the weirdest thing. But yeah, this is actually how the patches go. So don't ask me how I did that because, you know, I don't know. I will say that after taking the patches off, I didn't see the dramatic difference that I see when I see other people use these patches, but that's okay. My under eye is very, very moisturized. It feels good, so I'm not complaining. But yeah, that puffiness is still there. I didn't expect it to go away, by the way, completely. But usually when you see people use these patches, you know, they take them off of their eyes and it's like, oh my God, look how dramatic. You know, maybe they're faking, maybe they're not. Maybe I just need to use them again. I don't know. But it was nice. And um, I still have, I think, three more of the patches. So we'll see. Now I'm using the May Love The Glow Maker Antioxidant Serum. It's vitamin C and ferulic acid and E. It's supposed to be an alternative to the SkinCeuticals one and much less expensive. I like it so far. I've been using it now for a couple weeks and I think it's... It does what it says it does. It gives you a glow. Because a lot of women fight for their masculinity, so they do. They fight to be able to do stuff like that. I want to be in the fire public. Okay. You know, they don't want doors opened for them. Yeah, that they can works. do everything themselves. They're very strong. And you know what? It's nothing wrong with that. If that's who you are, that's, that's fine. But a lot of the times... They look down on women who don't want to struggle like that and who want doors open for them and who don't want to be able to fart in public. You know, it's like, well, there's something wrong with you. You've, you've reverted back to the 50s. It's like, no, I've decided that I don't want to live a struggle life. I've decided that it's okay to ask for help. You know, I've decided that it's okay to be really girly and never touch a door. It's okay to allow the man in my life or men in my life to open doors for me so I don't have to get my hands dirty. It's okay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to care about my appearance when I leave the house. And it's okay to like the color pink. I guess sometimes you just have to get things off your chest. So as you can see, I am doing my hair. And basically all I'm doing is finger coiling my hair with the Eco Styler Gel. I like the olive oil one. I've been using that one for years. I've tried the other ones, but that one's the only one that seems to do what I need it to do. Since I'm growing my hair out now, I have to take measures to get it to like slick down on the sides like I like and to get the top to curl. Eventually... I will be able to put it in a ponytail and all of this will be ancient history. Well, maybe not. I probably will still finger coil my hair when it's longer, but I won't have to slicking the sides and back down or like over styling it. I can just let it be kind of fluffy and big and curly. I'm really looking forward to those days where it's less maintenance, even though you would think that being short, it would be less maintenance, but it's only really less maintenance when I wear it straight. When I wear it curly, I have to do a little bit more to it. I know it looks like I'm really trying to lay these edges, but I'm not doing it in like the baby hair sense. I mean, that's what it ends up looking like. But really, I just want everything to stay down. The parts that are supposed to stay down, I want those to stay down. And the parts that are supposed to curl up, I want those to curl up. That's actually what I'm doing crazy part about it is this is cute when it's done but second day hair is so much cuter and unfortunately because I had to wet my hair and do this process now I'm not going to get the cute second day hair for the birthday party but that's okay because it's still cute and it's very sleek and um, I'll have second day hair tomorrow. I am opting for this Hanifa dress that I've had for a while. And it's very, very form-fitting. 
I still have, even though I've had, had my procedure, I still have that little pooch at the bottom. And sometimes I do get bloated and I hate when my clothes, because my butt is so big, I hate when my clothes just catch like right up underneath that little bit of, bit of pooch, but no worries. Once I put on my tights, everything will even out and look really smooth. So I've been sharing with you what I use on my skin or some of the things that I use, but this is something that I've been using on my body now for about a week. It's the Fenty Skin Butter Drop Vanilla Dream Whipped Oil Body Cream. That's a lot to say. This is, I think, a limited edition. It may or may not be. She also has her other Fenty Skin Body Butter, which is really good as well. But I really don't like the fragrance on that one. But I absolutely adore the fragrance on this one. It smells so good. But even more so, if Rihanna didn't do anything else, she made a great body butter, especially for skin that gets ashy. It's hands down the best body butter I've ever used on my skin. Now I'm priming my skin with the Beauty Pie Primer, which does give a nice glow. I am always shocked whenever I put this on my face. And it's so funny because I've had this for a minute and I always forget that I have it. And then when I do use it, I just love it. I'm also using the Beauty Pie Concealer under my eyes. I guess I am using quite a lot of Beauty Pie products on the regular. I probably should talk about it more. But it's basically a membership service. You pay a fee for the year and then you get really discounted products. This is the Westman's Atelier's Contour Stick and I really like it. This stick though, she's a little pricey, but very subtle. And you know, that's it. I just really use concealer and the contour stick on my face. Most days I just use concealer. Very rarely will I wear a foundation, like if I'm going to something like a wedding or a formal event, then I'll put a full face of foundation on and do the beat face. But honestly, these days, I'm pretty fresh faced. Usually it's concealer, powder, maybe a primer, maybe a little contour, sometimes some blush, highlight, but that's it. It is really a testament to my skincare and just being diligent. I'm popping in some new earrings and changing my shoes. I got these from Amazon and then these are my Yes, a chunky boot because it's snowing, honey. <laughs> and this is the completed look, complete without coat because, you know, private summers. So, of course, in the car, I had to put some finishing touches on the gift. You know, we had to stop and get a bag because I didn't have one. But I'm going to start keeping bags in the house. I'm going to stock up now that I'll have more space soon when we move. But I am so pleased with how this turned out. And I even added a little personalized handmade tag. So exciting, right? I think I'm going to make more gifts. I think that maybe I'll start early for Christmas and just make people gifts because it's really special when it's handmade. We made it to the party and my husband's client, that was her, Sunny, she enjoyed her gift. And we actually had a really good we had good food, really good food. I was really shocked because this place is a beer garden and I don't know what I was expecting. Good food, good company. I even had a really good mocktail. I don't know why I didn't show it here. And then the drive home. Don't you just love the row houses? I love the architecture here. 